Okay, we're back at the, uh, the laboratory out of the heat and the sun. And what I want to demonstrate right now is how you do pH. If you remember at the pit, we had four horizons. Uh, 0 to 4, 4 to 14, 14, 28, 28 plus. And this is the form that we use to record our data. And I'll go ahead and get it all filled out, and then I will send that as a separate video. Right now, we're going to do the effervescence. <coughs> and that's done <coughs> with hydrochloric acid. <coughs> and we just take a, a small amount of the soil in your hand, and I got no reaction. Okay, that's fine. That just tells me the pH is 7 or below. Okay, now in the sea horizon, we get a very strong reaction. So we're looking probably at seven, six, seven, seven. And all that is is just a real quick indicator for you to understand where the pH range may fall. This is the um, apparatus, if you will, and I'm using phenol red as an indicator, and this is the A horizon, and this is the C horizon. One had a very strong reaction, and the other one had very little reaction, or no reaction. Stir with a, uh, with an inert stirring apparatus, otherwise known as as a glass rod. Between uses, clean it with deionized water. So you be sure you don't get any contamination. Cross contamination between horizons. Using the magic of capillary action, we're gonna draw the reagent from the large reservoir down to the small reservoir. Okay. Then, <clears throat> using a uh, standard sheet, looks like seven, eight. This is probably going to be closer to eight. So that pH would be entered. We have 7.8. Down on the C horizon, we had 8.0. And that would be consistent with the reaction with hydrochloric acid. This is probably, as a planner, this is probably something you'll never do. It's already been done for you. But if you're doing point data, somebody may be out there, a uh, soil scientist, and doing this. And at least you'll be conversant with, with the process. Okay, stop.